who look like you and me All for one to save humanity Fighting off the evil virus entities It's now or never Before long the darkness will arrive Transforming all humans in virus like demons Aliens, enemies of the whole free world Destroyers of the planet to take this. What's in it, Doc? You're on the team. It contains my formula. Take it, if you're serious about helping us. Hmm. Listen, Rodan, it was worse for us. Yeah, I had to take a shot in the arm and it hurt like somebody punched me with all their might. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. I took it, but nothing's happening. It's triggered by contact with viruses. Well, what are we standing around waiting for? Let's go look for some. Come on. Calm mm -hmm. down, Rodan. We have to assess the situation. Oh, really? They took something that I intend to get back. We need to find out why they took your tiger in the first place. It's crucial. The professor happens to be right. We'll need your help. David's right. We're a team. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Just tell me. Where do I start? Start by telling us exactly what your experiences were with the viruses. I already told you what happened. We need the mm -hmm. details, Rodan. Sometimes the smallest detail becomes the most useful. It was horrible. Doing to her, leave her alone. Ah! How dare you? You'll pay for that. Don't waste time with a human. The tigress is one of ours now. She will guide us to the second oasis. You're right. Let's proceed. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that, Edward? Mm-hmm. A second oasis. And that explains why they transformed Astra. They think she'll be able to guide them to the second one. You think so? I'm 100% certain. The first time, they needed a guide. Yes, they needed a wise man, so they sought one in Zuri's village. So that explains why they stole Astra. If Astra can lead them to this oasis, then the same thing will happen again. There's another crystal rose? I'm not certain that another magic rose exists, but if this second oasis is exactly like the first one, there's a good chance that those roses are what the viruses have been after. But this time we won't let them get it. But wait a minute, Alice. That's easier said than done. We don't know where they've gone. Don't be too sure of that, Zuri. Could be the Avalonia Forest. If there's an oasis, that would be the place. You know about this, Dad? The Forest of Avalonia is one of the most beautiful nature sanctuaries on the planet. It's said that the entire Northern Hemisphere depends on the oxygen produced by its stunning array of flora. Its loss would be cataclysmic. Let's all take a break. Why are we stopping, Neela? You must have patience, Rodan. This forest is large. That's what worries me. This forest is too large and dense for us. We had Seth and Paki to guide us in the desert. If the oasis is somewhere inside this forest, there's no guarantee we're ever going to find it. Hmm. That's right. Seth and Paki were gifted in that way. But now we're on our own. Wait a minute. What'd I say? Huh? Hmm. This white fur... Yeah, what about it? They're extinct, Neela. Or so we thought. 
It's got to be some kind of sign. The oasis is somewhere nearby. It's telling us something. But what? What are you getting at, David? <sighs> huh? He's nuts! The only way to understand this tree is to see things from its point of view. Unbelievable! The white firs form a circle. So, did your friend the tree have anything to say? As a matter of fact, it did. Urkla, hmm? my wretched servant, where are you? I'm here, my king! Any news from our generals? I've been informed that Urpagon's viruses have reached the second oasis. Excellent. Soon we will have the second Cryptus in our possession. Unless... Unless what? Out with it, you insufferable lack- Nothing, my lord. I just have some doubt about Erpagon, as you well know. So, is that why you suggested him? Precisely, Your Excellency. I believe it was a good way to test his allegiance to you. We will find out soon enough, Urkla. Now leave. I wish to of be course. alone. Of course. My viruses have penetrated the oasis of Avalonia. Soon they will extract the Cryptus and bring us closer to annihilating millions of innocent human lives. And yet, I feel compelled to stop all this mindless carnage. But I am one of Sederno's generals! If anyone suspects my misgivings about this assignment, there would be no escaping Sederno's wrath! These Cryptuses keep the planet alive, a life that Sederno wishes to destroy. Humans, animals, plant life, all of it reduced to ash through my efforts. What are you doing here? Ugh. Kaisatin, I didn't expect to find you here. Is everything okay? Answer my question first. You're not my superior. I don't have to give you any explanations. Perhaps you're right. Maybe you'd like to talk to Sederno instead. I'm sure he'd find it very interesting that I found you alone in the Cryptus Chamber. Is that supposed to be some kind of threat? What is it that you want from me? I won't tolerate your insinuations. You can either answer to me or Sederno. It's your choice. Do what you want. I won't take orders from you. If you must know, I was admiring the awesome power the entire planet depends on from these tiny objects. The universe is a mysterious place, Erpagon. Remember what happened to our world because of the Herald Probe, or have you forgotten? Uh, do you think I could forget that? See that you don't, General. Oh, I feel dizzy all of a sudden. Here, let me help you. Thanks. I don't know what came over me. It's the oxygen content. The oxygen? By that I mean the oasis produces a higher grade of oxygen than what we're used to. <sighs> There's something about it that's familiar. Wow, are you saying you've been here before, Alice? I grew up near a very large forest, Zori. I can tell you that the scent of pure fresh air never leaves you. Right, but we're used to smog now. Clean air makes our heads spin. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Huh? <gasps> huh? What the heck huh? was that? The roar of a tiger. We'll have to transform. Wait, that was Astra's roar. So you think we should all just stand here and get torn to pieces? I didn't mean that. Then what? How should we handle her, Rodan? No harm must come to Astra. Do I make myself clear? But what if she attacks us? You can trust I'll take care of it. She's all yours. Astra, don't you recognize me? I'm your friend, Rodan. What is he doing? We have no idea what effect the viruses may have had on a unique creature like Astra. What do you mean? Look at her. She hasn't been transformed completely. This must mean her DNA is fighting the effects in some way. Do you think the other viruses are with her? It's possible they could have abandoned her once she led them to the Oasis. Astra no longer serves their purposes now. Good, Astra, good. Ah. Yeah, that's it. Huh? Be careful, Rodan. Come on, Astra. Don't you recognize me? <gasps> All right, let's do something. No, we can't. Hmm. Mm. I can't watch! Come on, Astra! Why are you doing this? She won't stop, Rodan. You'll have to fight. Do it now! Hurry! But I love Astra. I could never... Ugh. You'll have to transform yourself into an antivirus. Ugh. A few inches deeper and that could have killed me. The professor was right. 
I can't fight the virus in human form. I don't want to do this to you, girl, but if it means bringing you back... Uh, Come on, Rodan, transform! He needs contact with a virus. Ugh. Infection! Look, the formula worked. Now he's on the team. Cute color. Copper? Mm-hmm. Looks good to me. Agreed. Now what powers does he have? I feel strong and flexible. Ah. Sorry to have to do this. Neutralize! Hey, his powers are like mine. Ah. Sorry about that, girl. Mm, strength, Rodan. You can do this. It looks like the viruses have weakened you, my friend. Uh, Elaster! What's he doing? I think it's just beautiful. He's freeing Astra from the virus. Well, I'm sure if I had been in that situation, I would have done it too. You're free now, Astra. I'd never let the viruses take you from me. Transforming all humans in virus like demons. Ill 